This is Amerison Gaming and Tech. All software used in this tutorial will be linked in the description below. There will also be an invite link to my Discord server if you need help or like to discuss role-playing, gaming, or technology in general. This is going to be my ultimate guide to using Kinku FM with Sirenscape, as well as local and remote audio. The power in this solution is that you can use all three at the same time if you like, so you can mix and match for what is best for your needs. At the beginning of the video, I will have an easy method that requires only Kinku FM and is less technical. I will then go into more technical solution to be able to use the local player using VB Virtual Audio Cable. Then I will address some problems others have had at the end of the video. Look for the timestamps in the description to find the parts of the video you're interested in. Let's get into it. First, we'll download Kinko FM. Open up your web browser and go to kinko.fm website. Click on the buy button. Here you can put any amount, including zero but you want to support the development team, don't you? Choose the amount that you can afford and you think the software is worth and click next. Here you put in your information like email address and credit card number and click pay now. I will do so and be right back. Click on the downloaded software and complete the installation. Click on more info and run anyway. Now the software should be installing on your PC. Once it's installed and has launched, you'll get a pop-up that basically says, should I allow this application to access the internet? You want that to happen, so hit allow access. Kinku is now installed and ready for you to use. Next, let's set up a bot so Kinku can talk to our Discord server. Go to the Discord developer portal and click new application. We're gonna call this Kinku tutorial application and click Create. Once you've created the application, go over to Bot, click on Add Bot, and Yes. I'm going to go ahead and change this to Kinku Tutorial Bot. Click Save. Next, click on OAuth2. Click on URL Generator, and we now need to build a URL that will tell our server what kind of permissions this bot requires. So click on Bot, Scroll down, click on Connect, Speak, and Read Messages View Channels. Copy this URL and go into another tab. Paste that URL and go there. And you're going to have a dialog which basically says, this will allow the developer of the Kinku tutorial application to create commands in the server. You want to do that. So go ahead and choose your server and hit Continue. Then it's going to tell you what that Tutorial bot wants permissions to do on that server. Read messages, connect, and speak. We've already chose that, so go ahead and authorize. Click I am human, if you are. And you can hear that now that tutorial bot is in my server. Now it's time to connect that bot to Kinku. Go back to the developer portal. Go to bot, scroll up, and click reset token. Once you reset the token, you will see a copy button. You'll also see the token. Click on copy. Now you're going to go over to Kinku and you're going to click on connect Discord for more outputs. Now click on the token area and hold down control V to paste your token in that area and click connect. You should then see connected. Click on done. Now let me open my server. So you can see the magic happening. When you click on general, you'll see that the actual Kinku tutorial bot joins the general channel. At this point, you have everything you need to connect Sirenscape and or any audio on your PC to Discord. The first method in this tutorial for Sirenscape is to use the web player through Kinku FM so you can control the audio through the web-based interface on another computer. So make sure that FM application is open and go to your browser. You're going to click on the Sirenscape website, you're going to sign in, and then you're going to click play now. Inside of the web browser playback utility, you're going to click on the hamburger in the upper right hand corner. Click on Share Audio. This will copy the link to share to your players. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to create a bookmark and we're going to paste that with control V in the URL and name it Sirenscape and click add. Here, I'm going to make it a little bit larger so that we can see better. If you click on the Sirenscape link, you'll see that it goes to that URL and loads the player within the web browser inside of Kinku FM. At this point, if you do join the general channel in your Discord server, it'll pipe all the inputs from Kinku into your Discord server. Be careful because if you click the Sirenscape a couple of different times, it'll open up multiple browsers. You don't want this. Close any multiples, only have one. Things can get really weird if you have more than one. I'll also turn this down so it's not too loud for you when you hear one of these sounds going off. Then go back to the browser, click on Blaster Battle. I'm gonna go ahead and mute this site. It is muted so that you can hear it through Discord. And then we're gonna play a laser shot. Or a blaster impact. Hopefully that shows you that we are actually connected now to Discord. I'm gonna close that down. We're gonna close the Sirenscape player. The next method is we'll use Sirenscape web application directly in Kinku FM. Click on plus on bookmarks and you're going to type in HTTP colon slash slash app dot Sirenscape dot com and you're going to name it Sirenscape web app. Click on add. Now when you click on the Sirenscape web app, you're going to go directly to the full blown interface that allows you to play all of the sounds directly through Kinku FM. Let's click on Blaster, and you can see that if I hit Laser Shot, you hear it through Discord. As part of our ultimate guide, this next method will be using Sirenscape Fantasy Player, piping its output through VB Virtual Audio Cable into Kinku FM through the Discord bot. This is much more technical than previous methods, but could be used if there are troubles with some of those methods. The previous methods that I've discussed in this video are preferred as they are easier to use and less problematic overall. Okay, first step for this is let's go get the VB Virtual Audio Cable from its website. Go to the VB Virtual Audio Software website and download the VB Cable Virtual Audio Device. You're going to download this first one, unless you're on Macintosh. If you download this first one, it might be a different version than what we see here, but go ahead and download this. You're gonna click on this in the web browser and show in folder. And we're gonna go ahead and right click and extract all. Click on extract. Once those files are extracted, you're gonna go inside that folder and you're gonna right click on the VB Audio Cable Setup 64. If you're 32-bit operating system, you can run the 32-bit, but generally most of you are gonna be on 64-bit operating systems. Click on run as administrator. Click on yes, click on install driver. Now it says you might reboot your system. I'm gonna tell you to go ahead and reboot your system. We're gonna click on okay, and then we're gonna reboot and I'll be right back. Now that you're back in your operating system, take a peek at the speaker in the bottom right hand corner. Quite possibly it has now switched your default output to be the VB audio virtual cable device that we just installed. You're probably gonna to wanna to switch that back to your headset or your speakers for now. And that will let us know that it has been installed and everything is working fine. Now we're gonna install Sirenscape Fantasy Player. Go to your web browser and go to Sirenscape's website. We're gonna click on the download button and we're gonna download whichever one you want, the fantasy, the sci-fi or the board game. We're gonna download it for Windows. Once the download is done, you're gonna click on the downloaded file, click yes. We're gonna accept the agreement. We're gonna hit next, and then we're gonna click next and install. Click on next and click on finish. We're gonna close our browser and we're now launching Sirenscape for the first time. When Sirenscape launches, I'm gonna click not now. I'm not gonna sign in, I'm just gonna use the free version. At this point, you can log in if you'd like, but I'm gonna say not now. If I was to play any of this music here, it would be playing out of my speakers. 
What we need to do is connect Sirenscape Fantasy Player to the VB Virtual Audio Cable. Go down to Windows search bar and we're going to look up sound settings. Under the sound settings, scroll down and click on app volume and device preferences. Inside here, you're going to choose, if you look, the upper part is output and the lower part is input. So you're going to change the output for Fantasy Player from the default, which we had set as our speakers. We're going to set that to cable input VB audio virtual cable. Now all of the output from Sirenscape will be going through the VB audio virtual cable. Now let's open up Kinku. Inside Kinku, you have to click on the gear box. I'm going to open this up so it's a little bit easier to see. In settings, click on external inputs and click done. Now showing up are the various inputs that are on our computer, including the cable output that we had installed from VB Audio Virtual Cable. So if you check that box and you click on General, then effectively it's going to connect the VB Audio Virtual Cable to your Discord. And then if you go over to Sirenscape, you can basically play some sounds. Let's do a horse or a cow. And so now you can see that it's connected the Sirenscape Fantasy Player through VB Audio Virtual Cable to your Discord audio bot. This next method kind of solves the problem of Kinku FM's internal web browser possibly having a problem with some of the content that you're looking at or trying to stream. So if you open up your web browser and then you go back down to search for sound settings, you can effectively change your web browser's output once you get some sound through it. So let's say, let's go to Sirenscape and we'll go to play now. And go to the blaster battle. And once you actually have your audio connected to here, you can see that Chrome shows up or your browser would show up here and you can switch its output to cable VB audio virtual cable. This would allow you to then pump these sounds into Discord through the Kinku application. So if we open up the Kinku application and go ahead and make sure that we are connected to VB audio virtual cable and our Discord channel, then you should be able to hear the laser shooting off this can be used for any kind of website that you might want to go to and pump it through Kinku FM that the internal web browser of Kinku FM either causes problems or has issues with. As you can see, the Kinku FM application simplifies significantly the ability to play Sirenscape audio through Discord. There's a lot of other great features of Kinku that I'd like to talk about here real quick. First is the bookmarks. You can bookmark any website whether it's YouTube or other, that has audio or music or anything that you'd like to play. And when you click it, it will open up another tab and play it through to your Discord server audio bot. You can also add playlists and soundboards. Playlists are like music playlists. It would play one thing right after the other. Soundboards are more like multiple audio segments that you can put on auto loop and will play at the same time. So just to kind of show you, you can click on playlists and you can name it, let's just call this test playlist and choose an image and click add. When we click on that playlist, I can go over to my computer and drag and drop a couple of audio files. They're now in the playlist and I can play on them. And you can hear this coming through my Discord audio bot. And you can see that it's one after the other. Let's go back and create a soundboard. Let's name this test sound and choose the dragon. Yeah, I like that. Click on test soundboard. Inside here, we can also drag and drop the audio files into a soundboard, each one of them having their own plaque that shows the ability to change the audio for each one of them independently, as well as have it on auto loop. Let's turn these audios down a little bit 
because I know they're going to be loud. And then we can go ahead and play the music and play rain sounds. You can see that each one of these, if I turn this one way up, it goes independently of the other. And effectively, if I go back, I could go over here and I could play Telecast it again on my playlist if I wanted to play that while these two background sounds are being played. And anywhere that I am, I can control each one of these audios being played by hitting the X to stop it. So that kind of scratches the surface of the power of the Kinku application. If you go ahead and go to the Kinku website underneath Docs, you'll see that this application has a lot more functionality as well as some very good documentation on setting up the Discord token using the Kinku Player app. You can also use multiple inputs as well as multiple outputs, and also the Elgato Stream Deck plugin to be able to use a Stream Deck if you're using it on, say, Twitch. One of the first problems that people have had in the tutorials that I've written is that sometimes the audio does not come through on the bot. There's a couple different problems that could be the culprit here. So if you check out your sound settings by searching for sound settings and look at those sound settings, you'll see that what happens is in the app volume and device preferences area, you will notice that applications in here do not show up unless they are actually running within Windows. The only thing that's constantly there is the system sounds, which is the audio subsystem for Windows itself. For items to show up in this area, you have to launch them. And let's go ahead and launch Sirenscape, for example. You'll notice that it starts to show up in the audio subsystem now. But for some reason, because it has removed it and put it back in here, sometimes the audio subsystem loses its mind. And so what you have to do is open this up, click on default, open it back up and click it back on cable input, and that'll fix the connection. This doesn't have to happen all the time, but I've noticed that when it does not connect to your bot or you don't hear sound, this is one of the culprits if you're using the VB audio virtual cable method. This is why the other methods are much preferred. Another problem that I've seen in some of my other tutorials is that someone changes the permissions that the bot had originally or changes the permissions of a channel. In this particular case, we have a general channel and we have a top secret channel. If I look at the permissions on the top secret channel, you'll see that in that particular channel under permissions, it is not synchronized with the category that it's in. This channel has custom permissions that currently has everyone blocked to view and to connect to voice. The good thing about the Kinku FM implementation and using it, no matter how you use it, with cable output or the other, it'll actually give you that error that says insufficient permissions to connect to the voice channel. So then you have to go to the channel and make sure that at least the bot can connect to and do something with that channel. Okay, good bot. We're going to make it so that they can see it and they can connect to it and speak on it. Save. And then let's make this a little bigger. Go to general and then go to top secret. And you can see now my bot was able to connect to that top secret channel. I hope the tutorial was helpful for you, gets more sound in your games, and please like and subscribe, as well as go down in the description and join my community on my Discord server. See you on the next video.